Hello and welcome. I am teaching a 30 minute segment at the Martin Pair JCC with a Parkinson's seated functional training class. My name is Amy Smith and I'm here to lead you today. So purely optional, but you will need, if you like, any type of spoon. It could be wooden spoons that you would find for cooking, or it could be like metal spoons that you would eat from. Also, any type of fruit. It doesn't have to be a lemon, it could be an apple. Just something that fits easily in your hand. You will need these two items, but of course you can do any of these exercises without them as well. Also, please put on your feet closed-toed shoes to support yourself, and also a chair, preferably one with no arms, and one that's sturdy enough to support your body weight. No folding chairs, please. We're going to start by moving forward on our chair, and we're going to take our bodies and lift them up. We want to focus on aligning our posture and elongating our torso. So roll your shoulders back a few times. Roll them back, good. And roll your shoulders forward, excellent. We're gonna loosen up our arms and work on strengthening our posture. Take your arms all the way out. Now I want you to pull back, lift and pull back. Pull your arms back as much as you can. Good, you're focusing on trying to pull your shoulder blades together. Can you feel the meat in the back? This is what you want to do to improve your posture and align and lift your chest. Excellent. Now turn and see if you can almost bring your hands back to touch the chair. Tap the chair behind you. So now the front of my hand is facing you and my palms are tapping. Every time I tap my hands back to the chair, it forces me to lift my chest higher. Over time, if you do this frequently, a couple times a day, you'll really start to feel that you're breathing it into your everyday life, focusing on lifting our chest. Why are we doing this? With Parkinson's and with age, we tend to hunch. And as we hunch, we can't look forward. We want to continue to build strength and lift our chest and prevent ourselves from hunching over. Last three, two, and one. Great job. Now I would like you to take your spoons and we're gonna use these to do some tapping. Now, if you don't have spoons or anything to use, you can just use your hands, of course. You're going to go high and low. High, low. Pulling your body forward, tapping high and low. High, low, high, low. Stretching and lifting, tracking the movement with your eyes. Last three, looking good. Two, and one, good. Now I want you to take your feet and begin marching. Lifting those feet, getting the legs working, tapping and stomping. Circle your arms forward, holding your wooden spoons. Working on lifting and strengthening all of this movement comes from our core muscles. You aren't um, seated against the back of your chair. So you're really using your core muscles to keep you upright. Now take it back the other direction. Good. Keep lifting and marching your legs and pulling your arms back. Good. Again, take it forward. Continue to march, working on our coordination. Good, and again, take it backwards. Excellent, now crossing at the midline is good for your brain. So take your arms across your body. Open up your chest every time and cross, across. Cross at the chest and lift up. Add the march. 
Now you're focusing on moving right over left, left over right, getting our heart rate up, getting the circulation going in our legs, stopping at your own pace, and crossing across your chest. Good, looking strong, keep moving that body. We're not resting right now, we're working. Last three, two, and one. Great job. Now we're gonna take our foot, and again, we're gonna stomp it forward. As we stomp, hit the spoon. Tap, tap, and tap. Creating a little bit of noise, and creating the coordination of stopping and tapping at the same time is great for our cognitive ability. It also helps us to have to think, stop forward and back. Use it and say it with me. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Other side, forward and back. Forward and back. Good. Now we're going to again go with highs and lows. This time we're going to take it up. This is high and down to low. Having to go and twist across your body is great for functioning. You can reach something in a high cover, you can go for something low. Tap and tap. Tap and tap across your body. Tap. And tap. Other side. Again, take your lower arm and bring it up and down. Up and down. Tap high and low. Tap high. Feel that twisting in your side abdominals. High, low, high, and low. Excellent job. You're going to take your wooden spoons out, or if you're just using your hands, take them out to the side. We're moving into our power twist. Again, we want to work our hips. We want to lift our heel and hit it. We're just going to do five on each side. Lift up. Lift and align your chest and move your hip and hit it all the way to the side. Allowing you to functionally be able to move to the side and grab anything. Last two. And one. Other side. Twist and open. Twist and move your body. Twist and open. Last two. And one. Now you can put your spoons down and let's move on to the lemons or any other fruit. We're going to take these lemons, one for each hand, and bring them back behind us. This is for range of motion. You want to be able to, to move your body behind you. So you want to be able to move your hands behind you. Shoot your lemons forward. Lift like you're shooting a basket. Take them back. Shoot that basket. Range of motion with your fruit. Good. Bring it back and forward and back. And forward, excellent. Last three, two, and one. Now I want you to spread your fingers apart on the lemon. No palms on the lemon, just fingers. And I want you to squeeze, squeeze, and stomp, and squeeze that lemon with your fingers, and stomp. You're using your fingers to work on strengthening with Parkinson's, often we get a little tremor and a little shake. So we want to try to strengthen those fingers, give them a chance to be focused on, steadying them, squeeze. Squeeze the lemons and stomp your feet, lifting those feet. Last three, two, and one. Good job, now pull one lemon down. I want you to open up your arms, and just bring the lemon across to the other hand. Open your arm. You're just moving the lemon or whatever piece of fruit across your body. You're doing this to open up your chest, pulling your shoulder blades back from side to side, across, lift. Keep 
that um, torso up, lengthening, extending, strengthening, and lifting. Good. Now, if you can, again, scoot your body all the way up on the chair. For range of motion, you're going to put the lemon behind your back and reach with your hand in a circle behind your back. This is great for being able to reach something behind you or if somebody is behind you and handing something to you. It's so important to be able to circle around. Also, you can feel this in your back, opening up your spine. And now reverse the other direction around your back. Push the lemon all the way around your back. Feeling that don't cave in in your belly. Keep your belly tight and strong. Good. Last three. Looking good. Two. And one. Now for just a little bit more of a challenge. Take your legs apart. We're going to do a figure eight through our legs with the lemon. So you really want to get a lot of motion in your arms. Push that lemon through your legs. Push the lemon through your legs in a figure eight around your body. You really want to make this a large, exaggerated movement. Large, exaggerated, more than lifelike movements to get our bodies working. Good. Push it through. Keep trying to look up. Don't look down. We want to look forward in life. So trust your hands. Trust your body to do the work for you without you needing to look. Again, the other way. You'd break your pedal in a car without looking down, wouldn't you? I hope so. You gotta do the same with this lemon. Turn it through your legs without looking down. Nice. Last three, and two, and one. Great work. Now you're gonna take that lemon and push it through your legs, all the way in a circle, like a windmill over your arms and under your legs, stretching our body, pulling forward, stretching, lifting, and lengthening. Other side, through and up and over the legs. Pull forward, make your back work. Looking good, nice job. Feeling a little heat, getting a little sweaty from this work. Nice job. Last three, two, and one. Great work. You can put the lemon back down. We're going to get our heart rate up again. We're going to start to march in place. Move those arms. Lift your feet. Lift your feet like you do all the time to get your body up and over curves, up and over into the car. Moving your feet, taking it wide. Move those arms. I want to see some power. I want to hear some noise, some energy in our work today together. Bring it back into center. Lift and stop. Push down. Last three, two, and one. Great job. Now take your legs apart, and I want you to place one hand on the side of the chair. You're going to sweep your arms all the way around, opening up your chest at the end. Pull back, sweep your arms around and pull back. Sweep your arms through, lengthening and strengthening your body in your chair. Opening up your chest each time you lift up. Pull your body forward. We just want to try to have great range of motion. So we're working on functional movements that increase that. Last three and two, opening those fingers and one. Great job. Take it the other side, all the way across and open up. Open up those fingers, track the movement with your eyes, mobility from your neck all the way to your toes. Looking good. Really push your body across your torso crossing over, last three, and two, and one. Nice work. Bring your feet together, and now we're gonna stomp it out. 
Stomp it out. Lift and lower. Last three, two, and one. Take your feet apart. Bring your forearms down to your thighs. Pull your torso through your back. Pull your body as far forward as you can. Feel that stretch in your lower back. Allow your chin and chest to hang down. Move your head from side to side. Good, releasing any tension in your neck. Now slowly lift up for our power ups. Pull forward and open up. Again, pull forward, resting your forearms on your thighs. Pull back. Good, forward and back. Really lift and lengthen your chest. Give yourself a big smile, you're doing great. Nice work. Keep up that momentum. Pull your body forward and open up. Pull your body forward and open up. Pull forward and open your chest. Good, really strengthen. Remember those movements we did at the beginning of class where we were lifting our arms back? You're doing that right now, but you're doing it wider. Make it a bigger, wider, exaggerated movement. Strengthen your body. Think about aligning your posture. Last two and one. Great job. We're going to do our power rock. You're going to open up that hand and stretch to one side, tracking the movement with your eyes while your leg goes the other direction. Place your hand on the chair next to you, on the chair, and pull in and out. A big, wide stretch. Open, close, say it, open. Your body will listen to your voice. Open and close, open, close. Big, exaggerated movements. Track that movement with your eyes. Open, close, open, close, open. Close last time, open and close. Great job. Moving on to the other side. Opposite hand, opposite arm. Again, spread those fingers out. Don't crunch them together. Now we're gonna go open, close, open, close, open, close, open. Join me, say it with me. Use your voice. Give it some energy. Give it some power. Last three. Two, and one. Great job. This is making me super thirsty, so I wanna go for some lemon picking. We haven't done that yet, but this is my favorite time in Arizona, and there's so many nice ripe lemons. So let's open up our hand, reach across, grab and pull down, and reach down. Again, open, lift, and pull that hand down. Really reach across your body. It's not easy to get those lemons off the high branches. So you need to pull and then drop it. Again, it's one motion. Across, pull, and down. Across, pull, and down. We really want to reach across our body. Make it some hard work for us. Those lemons like to, to stay on that tree. And we need to pull down hard. So really pull your elbow to your hip and then pretend that you're dropping that lemon. Reach across, pull your elbow to your hip and down. This is hard work. If you picked fruit all day, your back would ache. So give your reason a little back to ache right now from all your hard effort. Last three, two, and one. Other side. Again, place your hand on the chair beside you for support. You're going to reach up and pull and drop it down. Reach up and pull and drop it down. All the way across. All the way across. Pull that elbow down to your hip. This is a hard movement. You need some strength, some muscle. Good. Hold the lungs off that tree. Good. And then crossing your body, getting a lot of mobility. Last two. And one. Nice job. Let's get our heart rate up again, right onto our jumping jacks in place. Arms and legs together. 
10, count it down with me. Nine, eight, big wide movements. Stretch those legs, pound your feet down. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Again, let's go for a little run, getting that heart rate up. Move those feet. Now take it wide. Open up the hands. Almost like you're playing with a basketball. Dribble. Dribble in place. Pushing down. Moving those feet. Good. Bring it back to center. Good. And stop. Heart rate up. Great job. Now let's move those fingers again. Wiggle out those fingers. Good. And now extend the arms out and take them back. Together, palms together, and back. So you're twisting your arms as you bring them together and pulling back together and apart. Again, always working on lifting the chest, pulling the shoulder blades together, focusing on never resting our back against the chair. Good. Last three, two, and one. Great job. And we want to do a little extensions with our legs just to make sure we really move them. This time I do want you to lean back. Keep your, the back of your um, back up, but lean back. Pull your knee to your chest. From here, push your leg forward. Knee to chest. Push your leg forward. Knee to chest. So you're resting the upper half of your back against the chair. You're pushing forward. Flex that foot. Feel the work you're doing in your legs. Keep your tummy tight. Good. Pushing and pulling. Push and pull it back in. Last three. Nice job. Really, again, you need some effort here. Strong work. Strong legs. Two and one. Hold it here. Hold that knee to your chest for your chin. Down, bring your forehead to your chest. Feel that stretch. Good. And put it down. Other side. Pull your knee into your chest. Now flex your foot. You're going to push it forward and pull it back in. Good. Nice job. Yeah. You got it. Keep it up. I know your leg starts to feel heavy. It is. That's why we're doing this. It's going to help us strengthen it. Pull it in. Push it out, pull your knee into your chest and push through your heel, in and out. Good, strengthening that leg. You're gonna feel this tomorrow, I promise. Last three, two, and one. Great job. Take your legs apart. Now I want you to focus on your heels. Lift up, lift up both your heels, pushing your toes into the floor and down, up and down. Do you feel your inner thighs working? Good. Three, two, one. We're going to do a W. I want you to put your arms into a W. Do you see my W? Now I want you to lift your arms into a V. W and V. W, V. Why are we doing this? To stretch our upper half. Stretch and lift. Feel that stretch. Now what we were doing with our heels, we're going to add to it. You're going to lift your heels as you go into a V. Push down into W. V, lift the heels. W, V, lift the heels. Lift the heels with your V. Lift those heels. Push your toes into the floor. Good. Stretch that body. Lengthen. W, V. Last three. Two. And one. Great job. Walk your feet back in together. Now take your arms apart. And again, we're going to do one more final stretch. Great job today, everybody. Thank you again so much for joining me. Pull your arm back. Look behind you and feel that stretch. Come back to center. Pull your arm back. Behind you. Feel the stretch. Now cactus your arms. Turn. 
Place one hand on the chair and turn as much as you can with your torso. Look behind your shoulder. Come back to cactus. Again, put your hand on the chair. Twist and turn. I can't wait to see you back in class. Everybody stay healthy, stay strong. Thank you for joining me, Amy Smith at the Martin Pair JCC, and we will see you again soon.